Man, waking up. Always happy to do the things I love in life, so it's a great opportunity to get better. And we're going to Dallas Mass facility, so hey, you never know who's there. Gonna work hard today. Bust somebody up. Usually wake up, brush my teeth, use the bathroom, throw some clothes on, put my Uggs on. These right here, ooh, comfortable. Comfortable right there. Do that, go downstairs and go get my breakfast on the way out my door. Time we got 9 12. Hey, I'm about to play some video games real quick. Get a game with Call of Duty in real quick. Share about why I'm the best at Call of Duty. I like to play video games, help get my hand and eye coordination going. Early morning, early morning kills. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here doing my thing. Hey, that's mostly life, but baller. All right, I'm done with that. So we have practice really early in the morning in college. So we have practice like seven o'clock. So I'm waking up at 6.30, dragging to the gym, you know, just barely getting up. So I just eat like something quick, like peanut butter or like something like slight like that. So make it quick and easy. And then after practice, I would get breakfast. They would serve us breakfast and stuff in the, at the gym and stuff. So this is way better. Take my time. It's eight, about to be nine. Well, it's nine. It's chill. It's fun. Whew. All right, let's do this. Shooting is just more like a get loose kind of thing, you know? Work on your fundamentals, work on your just basic form, just the, just the principles of just shooting. So that helps you in the long run, helps you in life, you know? I mean, if, so basically being a pro athlete means you have to play basketball all the time, you know? You gotta be able to go out and shoot. That's why I shoot every day, you know? You come out and shoot, even though it's optional, it's always, this is, this, I get paid to play, you know? I get paid to, work out here and that's my life, you know? I mean, the floor might feel differently, the lighting might be, be, be differently, but you can't use that as an excuse. You gotta just kinda just stick to your form and then when you start shooting, you might miss a, you might miss your few couple, you know? Just, but just keep on sticking with the form and get warm, you know? And just get comfortable with your shot. And then just keep shooting, just keep shooting. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Just keep shooting, keep shooting. Together, one, two, three, together. Yeah. Yeah, it's basically what I do daily. Just come in and get rehab and treatment. So actually when I was in a senior in college, I tore my Achilles. So I am still rehabbing to this day for my Achilles so I can, so it's loose, you know, because it's a huge tendon in your body. Without your Achilles, you can't really do anything. Well, my JD on our team actually just tore his Achilles, so. I've been trying to help him and talk to him and give words of optimism and positive thoughts so he can uh, make it through it. Cause it's definitely, I, I had some days where I definitely wanted to quit and stop working and everything. So it's good. It's been a good, uh, it's been a good recovery, you know? Can't be mad about it anymore. All I can do is just move forward and do what I do best, which is play basketball. <laughs> oh yeah, are we deep in here today? Man, life, man. That's where we're headed right now, to the mass practice facility. It's where you want to be, you know? So it gives you inspiration to want to do, want to do more and 
want to play for something other than just the D League since this is a place where you want to develop, but you want to get to the NBA. So it's good to come up here and inspire, I guess you could say in that word. So I like it. It'll be fun. So, I mean, this is my second time being in a math facility. Um, I've been up here one time with Motley. So, uh, it's a blessing to be here and an opportunity that I can never get taken back. We're the Mavs D-League team, so there's gonna be NBA players, NBA scouts at our practices watching us play because we could be the next call up they need to get better, you know, so. This is the biggest motivator, you know? Being, working out here and being called up to the Mavs is the goal, you know, so. Being able to just work out here is a blessing and an opportunity, and it makes you want to be here permanently rather than just be a, a guest here, you can say. So just being here and just grinding it out and playing on the NBA hoop and being in the presence knowing that other, other great players that have been here is, is amazing. So I enjoy it. it makes me want to work harder. As a rookie, it's kind of hard to adapt to it, you know? It's hard to to kind of just start some games and then have to sit out some games and then don't even play some games. So it's a trickle effect, you know? Especially knowing what you're capable of doing and being able to just keep your head, keep sane, and just keep on fighting for what you believe in. And because you know at the end of the day, you're a good basketball player or you want to be here. So I think most of this is, is more of a mental game than anything, that you have to play with yourself, like staying confident and staying in shape when you're not playing and being able to be counted on when your number's called. It's been good, I mean, it's been fun, honestly. So I'm blessed to have this opportunity and I'm gonna continue grinding every day because at the end of the day, this is not the end result. This is only the beginning. So hope I can take it up a notch from here and create more for myself and be a better player. Molly just, I was just driving around with him one day and he basically just told me, he asked me what I like to eat and I was like, I mean, chicken's always a good go-to when you're hungry. So he told me about this place called Mike's Chicken and I've had some good chicken in my times. So when I came here, I kind of doubted him. I was like, it's gonna be all right. So it'll be decent, like nothing special. Then I had it. It was crispy, flaky, hot. It was good. And the sides were bomb too, so ever since then, I've, it's pretty it's my go-to, especially when I come out here to Dallas. It's, it's rare when I come out here, but it's good. I like it a lot. I'm, I'm always with Prince, basically, so we eat dinner downstairs a lot to just at the hotel. We usually just grub and then just relax, basically, just play video games or whatever and just chill. So that's just the way it is. That's the way it is on the road too, so. Now it's kind of a culture. Come on. Grab your controller, scrub. We play basketball and we rest, you know? So it's fun. It's not like a it's not like a bad routine at all. Yeah, because it's my first year, so I don't really know anything besides this. And I like it, you know, like the teams like I didn't know what to expect when I first came. So I just kind of just took it what it was and it's an experience, you know, it's fun though. I mean, we get on a hotel, we get everything. So it's fun, it's not a problem to me, but it's learning as it goes. Learning, learning, learning. And like, it helps that like no one's like, like doesn't like each other. You like know? the ego, there's right. no like ego in this team. Right, so it's fun. I'm happy. I mean, I'm playing video games, it would be the same thing I'm doing at home. I know, right, like nothing really changes. <laughs> Nothing's what we do a, back home. Nothing's a big change to me. It's, it's all just a... Uh, I don't know. I like it though. I don't think it's anything bad. I think it's fun. I think it's a, a blessing to be able to come out and just relax, you know? Not worry about 
have them do that and have them do this, but we can just come home and just enjoy it, enjoy the day. I've had a lot of teammates help me throughout this process, so it's, it's, been, a, it's been really good for me to just have uh, teammates like Prince and stuff who've been through this process, and Kyle, it's a blessing to be here at the end of the day, making new friends and creating a culture of success around me. So, yeah, enjoy it.